The Southern Suburbs Railway is the centrepiece of the State Government's new Metro Rail project. It has included extensions and upgrades to the Northern Suburbs Railway, a spur off the Armadale Line to Thornley, improvements to rail infrastructure through Victoria Park and the purchase of 93 new state-of-the-art rail cars. The Southern Suburbs Railway is a visionary project that will deliver a fast, direct, efficient train service to the fast-growing suburbs south of Perth and will be linked to an expanded bus network. New state-of-the-art rail cars are being delivered to service the existing network and the new line. There will be nine new stations between the Narrows Bridge and Mandra, a new station on the Perth City foreshore at the Esplanade and new underground platforms at William Street which connect to Perth Station. All stations will have bus train interchanges, high levels of security including closed circuit television, smart rider facilities including fare gates, access for people with disabilities including tactile paving and audio loops for the hearing impaired, bicycle access, lifts and escalators. All stations except Canning Bridge will be staffed and will have a kiosk and toilets. And all stations except Canning Bridge and the city stations will have car parking. Trains will run frequently to all stations and the first trains are expected to begin service in 2007. Mandra Station will be on the corner of Fremantle Road and Allnut Street, where the bus station is. When leaving Mandra, the railway goes under Fremantle Road, heads northeast through the light industrial suburb of Greenfields, then continues through the suburbs of Meadow Springs, Parklands, Lakelands, Carnup and Stake Hill. It then travels under Stake Hill Road and runs parallel with the eastern side of Ennis Avenue and Mandra Road. The first station from Mandra is Warnborough, at the intersection of Ennis Avenue and Safety Bay Road. From Warnborough, the railway continues alongside Ennis Avenue to Rockingham Station, on the corner of Ennis Avenue and Ray Road. This station is being designed to link with expanded local transport services. Heading away from Rockingham, the line follows the Garden Island Highway Reserve, east through Hillman. A new bridge will take the railway over Mandra Road and the Freight Railway Line, from where it heads northeast to Wellard Station. The railway goes under Wellard Road into Parmelia and under Challenger Avenue into Bertram, before arriving at Quinana Station, which will be on the south side of Thomas Road. It then goes under Thomas Road and briefly re-emerges before using the existing Ankertel Tunnel to get into the median of the Quinana Freeway, where the line continues all the way to Perth. The next stop is Coburn Central, which will be just north of the Belia Drive Quinana Freeway intersection. This station has been designed to fully integrate with the Coburn Town Centre and will become the main public transport focus of the area. Main Roads has prepared the median in the Quinana Freeway north of Coburn Central all the way to the Narrows Bridge. Alterations have been made to the current bus station at Murdoch on South Street to accommodate the new train station. Bull Creek Station will be at the intersection of Leach Highway and the Quinana Freeway and will link with feeder buses. Next, the railway crosses Mount Henry Bridge, which has been strengthened to allow trains to travel down the middle and widened on the western side to carry northbound traffic. Canning Bridge bus station will be converted to a train station. From here, the railway will run in the existing busway lanes. New bus priority lanes will be built on and off the freeway at Canning Highway and between Judd Street in South Perth and the Narrows Bridge. The northbound track across the Narrows Bridge will be in the existing busway lane, while the southbound track will be on a new rail bridge that is being built in the space between the two existing bridges.
just north of the Narrows Bridge, the rail lines swing east to pass under the southbound carriageway of the Mitchell Freeway before entering a cut and cover tunnel on the foreshore. The foreshore tunnel sweeps to the north around the new Perth Convention and Exhibition Centre and enters Esplanade Station, which will be just south of the intersection of William Street and Mounts Bay Road. This station will provide convenient access to the Esplanade Bus Court, the Perth Foreshore, St George's Terrace and the Perth Central Business District. From the northern end of Esplanade Station, two board tunnels head further north under the CBD beneath William Street. Each tunnel is bored separately using a tunnel boring machine, or TBM, which is a highly sophisticated, purpose-designed and built tunnelling machine that enables tunnels to be constructed as a fully underground operation without disturbing the surface. The twin bored tunnels under William Street will be 15 metres deep and arrive at the new William Street underground platforms just north of the Murray Street Mall and east of William Street. The William Street platforms extend under Wellington Street with an underground pedestrian link into the forecourt of the Horseshoe Bridge leading into the existing platforms at Perth Station. At the southern end of the platforms, the main access takes passengers directly up to the Murray Street Mall. North of the new William Street underground platforms, the board tunnels curve to the west below the Horseshoe Bridge and Rail Yard and enter a cut and cover tunnel before surfacing near Lake Street to connect to the existing Northern Suburbs Railway. New Metro Rail, doubling Transport's rail network by 2007.